Hi, I'm Frank Brill, editor of EnviroPolitics, and uh, I'm here this afternoon at Langen Engineering's offices out just outside of Doylestowns, Pennsylvania, uh, with three very interesting people that I just came to meet this afternoon. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to Nick DeRose from Langen to tell us a little bit about the event that he just hosted here this afternoon. Nick? Thank you, Frank, and uh, we're really pleased to be hosting this event and to be here with John from Maasai Land and Phyllis Ecklemeyer from Doylestown. Mm -hmm. And it really is through Phyllis that uh, I learned about the Maasai several years ago and a co-worker here at Langen, Rosemary Williams, and the interesting connection that here in rural Doylestown uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> connects uh, uh, us with um, the Maasai. So um, as I've learned about the Maasai, um, what really uh, connected with me was knowing that um, so much of their, 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 their future uh, and hopes rested on this, uh, water supply and the precious aspect of water. And as an environmental consultant, I drill a lot of wells, but many of those wells just um, don't really provide that kind of uh, uh, value. Uh, so I thought, gee, it would be great to get the word out among our environmental community that um, here we have a situation where uh, literally one well can mean uh, sustainability and future for a, a whole people. So I'll let Phyllis explain how she got involved. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nick. I'm Phyllis Eckelmeyer, And in 2004, I met Maasai at Hamilton, New Jersey, going to the United Nations. They were um, at a train platform where I was. and. I asked them why they were there, and they said they were going to the UN to speak about the needs for water and for education and empowerment of women. And so it just hit, it struck my heart. I decided to start a nonprofit, and five years later, um, actually six years later, we have drilled five wells in their community, and we're also educating over 100 women and children. Uh, the, the water has changed their lives. They are now um, not only growing crops in greenhouses, but they have a cleaner supply of water that's coming up out of the wells. Their health has changed. They are very limited amount of malaria. Um, dysentery has almost disappeared. And the Maasai themselves are able to do other things besides women walking for water for every, every single day. Um, they might walk three or four miles to a well site to get clean water. So that's the difference. They also take their wash to the well site and wash their clothing there. Um, and they have better health. They have much better uh, access to water through pipeline, which is going now to schools and infirmaries. And as again, they are just so blessed to have this water right below their feet that they never knew was there. So with a little help from people across the pond, we're able to help them and we have gotten so much back in the way of love and blessing. Wonderful. So, John Sakuda is here from Maasai Land, and he is our spokesman. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Phyllis and Nick. Um, it's a privilege for me to be here. I'm so excited uh, for the support you guys have been giving to the Maasai community uh, because water is very, very important. The only thing that a Maasai would like or would wish to have in the village is water and education. And without water, then there will be no life. There will be no food for the Maasai. There will be no food because uh, our animals depend on the water. Uh, they have to take water so that they can be able to give us milk and, uh, and become healthy. So, and also it has helped us a lot. The wells that are being drilled in our village, it has relieved uh, our women because they used to walk long distance to go and fetch the water. So now they could walk just a very short time, um, short distance and get the water and come and do some other course like uh, cooking, making beautiful jewelry and it has been a very, very big blessing uh, in the community to have uh, water. So I'm so happy, I'm so excited to be here this evening uh, because of the much support we have given to the Maasai. It's really a very big blessing and we hope and trust that in future we will have enough, enough water for the whole community and even to the whole people in Kenya uh, in large.
Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Phyllis, why don't we wrap up with you giving a plug for your oh, organization yes. where people can uh, get in touch with you if they'd like to help us. Uh, yes, the nonprofit that we started is Maasai Cultural Exchange Project, and our website is www.maasai, M A A S A I, culturalproject.org. Wonderful. Please well, it's a check it out. <laughs> wonderful. Small world and an environmental uh, uh, organization brings us all together here this afternoon. and I well, appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time, folks. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Okay. Good. Very nice. Thank you.